Hi everybody. Typically I read stories for my preschool discover class at the Herman Royal Library, but on Sundays I also teach um, a delightful group of children at our church here in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania at Providence Orthodox Presbyterian Church. Um, and of course we could not meet today because of the COVID-19 crisis, so we're all at home. But I still thought it would be fun to read a story for the kids that I usually teach on Sunday mornings. Um, so if you would like to join us for that today, make yourself comfortable, and let's listen to a story about the lost lamb. This is a story that was written by Melody Carlson and illustrated by Stephen um, Borkman. All right, the lost lamb. I can see the setting sun telling me the day is done. It's time to put my flock to bed. My little lambs have sleepy heads. Oh. Around the lake beneath the ridge, across the meadow and over the bridge, down the hill and through the valley, no time left to dilly-dally. Hurry everyone, time for bed. I see the farm, it is near, at last, at last, we're finally here. Come on sheep, now don't be late, I'll count your noses at the gate. A hundred sheep are quite a few. I know them all from lamb to you, and each one means a lot to me. I call their names from A to Z. There's Alex and Anna, Begonia and Belle, Clarence and Casey, Dexter and Dell. There's Edgar and Ava and Felix and Floss, Gracie and Gertrude, and Harry and Hoss. Meh. Black sheep, white sheep, spotted sheep, plain. I count them all, each one by name. Sly sheep, shy sheep, grumpy sheep too. Why? I could start my own sheep zoo. Meh, 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 meh. I count and count. It's almost night. But that's okay. I'll get it right. Molly, Nettie, Ollie, and Pom. Quentin, Rowdy, Sugar, and Tom. I'm almost finished. Just a few more sheep. Then off to bed to get some sleep. Walt's 99. Xavier's 98. Yolanda U is 99. But wait a minute. Wait. Only 99, oh dear, one is gone, one's not here. Stop the count and good night kissing, Zebedee's gone, I found him missing. The rest of you must take a snooze, but I must go, no time to lose. Sweet dreams to you, my other sheep, with one lost lamb, I cannot sleep. By the light of the soft moon glow, into the night I quickly go. I cannot doze, I cannot sleep, until I find my one lost sheep. Uh-oh. He's not the only one looking for the sheep. I have no time to dilly-dally. I climb the hill beyond the valley. I cross the meadow after the bridge. I see the lake just past the ridge. And everywhere I go, I shout, Where are you, Zebedee? Come out! I'm here to take you home with me. Where have you gone, dear Zebedee? Beyond the ridge, caught on a thorn, I spy my lamb. His fleece is torn. I hear him crying out to me. At last I found my Zebedee. Ma, ma. And look, the wolf has found him too. Just in time that he's saved by the shepherd. Oh, Zebedee, dear little lamb, do you know how glad I am to find you in the dark of night? You gave my heart a fearful fright. Wolf doesn't look very happy, does he? Just missed out on dinner. Now, I can see you had a scare, but you can trust your shepherd's care. So never wander far from me. I'll keep you safe, my Zebedee. Now I can see the rising sun. The day is here, the night is done. Of course I'm tired, it is true. But I'm so glad that I found you. Wake up, you sheep, it's getting late. Now it's time to celebrate. Look who's here safe and sound. My lamb was lost, but now he's found. Yay! 
ones, white ones, spotted ones, plain. I know my sheep, each one by name. I love them all quite equally, from Abigail to Zebedee. If one gets lost, I leave the rest. I search all night, I give my best. I find the lamb who's lost to me and bring him home so joyfully. Yay! And then from the Bible, from the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 12 and 13. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains and seek the one who is strain? And if he should find it, assuredly I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Isn't that a good story? And it's true. Because our Savior, our Shepherd, will go to great lengths to find us too when we wander from the flock. So I hope you enjoyed that story, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!